That's a back at it again, traveling with Tail. So me and Boo, we about to go to uh, Charleston, South Carolina. It's about like a five and a half hour drive from where I live. Um, we about to go check it out. I heard great things about it. Stay tuned. We about to pull out now. So here we had to stop in on um, Fort Valley. Um, I've been wanting to try this little spot called Miss Jackie Hot Wings. Um, hey, it, it definitely was worth the stop. So as we traveled, um, as you guys can see, it really m wasn't much to see. It was a, un well, it was the scenic route, but it wasn't nothing to brag on. It was pretty boring five hours and some change drive from where I live to Charleston, South Carolina. However, um, the traffic was pretty smooth on the way there. At the time, of course, it was a uh, Fourth of July weekend when we went. So, yeah, as you can see, not much to see, but hey, we almost there. Um, our hotel, as you can see, we stayed at the Charleston Marriott downtown. Um, it was pretty nice, um, pretty nice hotel. Um, I have no complaints about it. Of course, you know, I'm pretty loyal to when it come down to Marriott. So, um, no complaints. So after we, um, we changed and, um, got dressed for dinner, um, we decided to go down to what we call, um, King Street first spot we ate at for dinner was um, a spot called Magnolia. As you guys can see, here I had some um, catfish and rice. Then I had some pecan pie. All of it was scrumptious. Um, this was like the area, like the Riverwalk area downtown. It was pretty cool. It wasn't much to see. Um, it was some, some guys playing like some music or whatever. Most people just walking around just looking at the water, looking at the scenery, you know, catching some fresh air. As you can see, um, it's a lot of boats, um, but that's pretty much was all to see there. Truthfully, um, I'm not really a cruise guy, but Charleston is one of the um, locations where you can take cruises. So you will see a lot of, you may see some cruise ships coming through um we didn't see any of those we mainly just seen like the the um the big ships that have like the containers on them i don't know what my man driving but a nice ride so here um we pretty much Headed back in, uh, walking. You know, we, we cruised um, the area a little while longer, um, but it was, it was pretty hot that day. So, and we was on the road pretty much all day. So, um, we was headed back to the hotel. So, um, this is the next day. Of course, you know your boy had to hit the gym after. Um, after I finished my workout and freshen up and everything, we checked out this spot called Toast. Man, the bartender was phenomenal. I can't remember her name, but man, she was great. The service was great. Um, a little pricey, it depends on, on your budget. Uh, I think most meals in Charleston probably pretty much ran you about $20 a, a per person each, each meal. So, hey, you know, budget for that, in other words. Here's the longest bridge in um, North America and the tallest structure in South Carolina.
So after um lunch, well, brunch, I'll say, we decided to go to the beach. Um, the beach, I mean, it was nice. I mean, it was it was normal, just a regular um, beach. However, it was overly crowded. Um, of course, it was 4th of July weekend, so we didn't stay long. Plus, we, we wasn't dressed for the occasion. We just pretty much went just to check it out. So, just a little footage from the beach. All right, guys. So, hey, day two in um, Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, we even had dinner at a few spots, uh, lunch, brunch, or whatever you want to call it. Um, however, we went to experiment at the beach. So look, the beach from where we was located at, uh, it was probably like a 25 minute ride. However, it is hot. I don't want to know what hell feel like if how hot it was today at this beach. Of course, we're not dressed for the cage. We're really just passing by. We didn't have a hat or anything, but yeah, if the sun ain't going down, I ain't coming back to the beach no time soon. Like, but anyway, it looked nice. It was overly crowded. Got some content for you guys to see. Um, but yeah, back in the AC, and we headed back to the resort. Well, to the hotel. All right, later. Here's another view of the bridge on the way back. It was a sale, so why not? All right, guys, back from me taking it out. Definitely needed from being in that hot sun. But hey, so now we about to do a boat tour. Some kind of little boat tour base she picked it so whatever i'm just here for more support so we're gonna hopefully get some nice footage keep y'all posted maybe be something y'all can do when y'all come i don't all right so basically it's um this this boat tour definitely wasn't nothing to call home about um it was just something to do um we booked it on vialtor.com um, um I, I don't remember the price um base she paid for it so um, one suggestion, if you decide to do it, look it up on Vyrta. Um, If you go, I would suggest that you go early due to the fact that, um, like, it's first come, first serve if you want to sit on the top deck. But on the flip side, downstairs, uh, which, which is where we sat, um, it had the AC blowing. So that was the benefit of sitting downstairs. Upstairs, of course, no AC but you have like direct access to the tour guide and he explaining everything. But downstairs in the little sitting, sitting excuse me, in the sitting area, um, you can pretty much hear what the tour guide is saying because they had like intercom speakers. But really wasn't much to see. If you a water person, if you like that type of stuff, I mean, it's, it's something to do. But we you know we pretty much ran out of ideas. It was only there for two days, so um, we decided to do that particular excursion. As you can see, just a bunch of ships and boats. Here was a, um, another view of the bridge. Um, this is from the top deck, so of course it was a, a better sight. Um, it was like the, the, the boat thing supposed to be like a sunset type of vibe so of course you see the sun and went down um but yeah look that i won't lie definitely happy for the boat tour to be over um as you can see it's it's nighttime now so we about to get ready to head downtown well back to the little downtown area um for dinner so we decided to go back to the same spot we went to for lunch um which is what's called toast. Um, we had a pizza and some wings. You know, it was pretty good. And then after um, dinner, we decided to walk down King Street a little bit um, just to see what the nightlife scene was like. We didn't stay out late, as you can see. We ended up going back to the hotel early. So for the next morning um, after the gym, 
Of course, you know, no days off. We decided to stop by this spot called Fuel Charleston. Um, right there, I had like a, some kind of salad. It was pretty good, actually. All right, guys, it's Sunday. About to roll out. Um, Charleston, you know, it's pretty cool. I would come back, you know. Um, King Street was a success, you know, like it was like the downtown area where the clubs and stuff. Hey, Unk ain't trying to go to nobody's club. So, yeah, I skipped out on that. However, um, it was some good eateries. Um, currently, well, we just, we are leaving the spot called Fuel. I know you may can see it slightly back there. We're leaving there now. Um, we're about to head to Savannah for two nights. We spent two nights in Charleston. So, yeah, um, it's about a two hour drive um, to the next um, spot we're about to head to. Um, we're staying at the, uh, we're staying at, of course, the Marriott, one of the Fairfields Marriott. We stayed at Charleston Marriott here. And, um, yeah, so we're going to keep you posted. Got some, some good content coming towards you. Stay tuned. All right, guys, two hours down. We are in Savannah. So we're going to find out, you know, find some things to do today. But yeah, it was pretty smooth sailing, um, even though it was a holiday weekend. The traffic wasn't too crowded. But anyway, we're going to do some Googling and find some spots to go to. And um, we're here for two days. We're going to keep y'all posted. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So we, we made it to um, Savannah yesterday. However, this is on uh, day one. We are um, about to go, go check these Savannah streets out. We headed downtown right now. Um, nothing, no, nothing too exciting going on. We just pretty much hanging out, doing what we do. Gonna grab us something to eat, you know, and then we're supposed to check out Tybee Island if the rain permits. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. Show y'all some content if we get some. Hey, that's it. Later. So here, guys, we made it to uh, River Street. Um, we pretty much just went and got, um, got something to eat down here, had a drink, and walked around. Um, more so on some touristy type stuff. But uh, backstory, I've been to Savannah a million times. So we, we really were just chilling. Nothing specific we was trying to do. Um, I mean, it's, it's a lot to offer in Savannah. However... This trip was pretty much just for relaxation. So here we um, we decided to stop at this spot called Tubby's. Um, food was, I, I'll say the food was great. So I had this black and chicken Philly no complaints had to get me a little drinky drink of course um i had a um, bald marley so here we was on um, we was headed back to the car we, we went by toppy island wasn't much going on so we decided to leave early All right, guys, this is the final day. Headed back home. Um, the trip was okay. You know, nothing special. Um, you know, we, like I said, we spent two days in Charleston. We spent another two days in Savannah. The trip more so, more so catered toward relaxation. So we did get plenty of rest. Slept good at the Marriott's. Um, we ate pretty good. Today is um, 4th of July. So being patriotic, got my blue shirt on, really wasn't intentional. However, ate at Crocker Barrel, so you know I wasn't gonna post that. But that's another story for another day. But anyway, head home. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the content. And that's it. Hey, stay tuned for the next adventure. Traveling with Tail.